Look, he went on the side of the house something he's never done. What? Oh, what? <laughs> Why did you roll over like that? Don't leave your camera on the ground. I'm not fine. Jamila made a mistake buying these. This is like my third one already. Why are you over here making all that noise, man? And why is your bed not made and it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon? Wow. Wait, I have to go say hey to your mama. Am I the only one who loves the smell of like new shoes? I so and it has this peculiar smell to it that is consistent across every pair of new shoe that you get when it comes to like tennis shoes. <sighs> now I typically don't put on shoes upstairs, but since this is the first time I'm wearing these bad boys. My new gym shoes, that is. I don't mind putting them on. Everybody's gonna be staring at me at the gym today. Check my foot work. Check my foot work. Check my foot work. Check my foot work. You ain't got these. You ain't got these. Stop looking at them hard. You ain't got these. Check my foot work. Cause I'm about to go to the gym after we drop the baby off. Oh. So, where are we going with the baby? Blue has what we suspect to be a hematoma on his right ear. It's like on his ear flap, there's a fluid filled sac, which most likely based upon our research might be filled with blood. So he has a hematoma on his right ear. And then remember a couple of vlogs ago, two weeks ago, I showed you all a couple of images of when Jamila was referencing when, uh, when Blue had got sick and he had a bad allergic reaction. His face was really swollen. Ever since that, he's also had a swollen piece on his face as well. So taking him to his doctor, his veterinarian, to get him nice and checked out so we can get him back to normal. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to achieve the impossible and show you all what I'm talking about. Sit down, sit, don't move. His ear. All right, Blue, sit still, stop. All right. Stop, let me see. All right, you see where it's kind of, see where right here, it's kind of like, like swollen. Yeah, you can see it right there. See how it's swollen right there? I know, I'm sorry. And sit, sit, thank you. And then, can I see your face? I know, I'm, I know you don't want to be touched. Come here, stop, man, stop. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You see how it's free for here? <sighs> Blue does not like being like restrained. That's one thing about Blue. So when he goes to the vet's office, he cuts up every single time. It's trying to like cut his nails or anything else. So I'm gonna try to do this another way. Don't move. You see this little bump right here? 
where my thumb is. Yeah, gotta get that checked out also. And this one here moves. Put your face up, man. This one here moves. So we gotta figure out what that is and uh, what's causing the swellness of this ear right here. Not sure if I did a good job getting it, but that's what's wrong with them. You ready, honey? Yeah, just grading right quick, honey. You're doing some work. Students, you're doing some work. Yeah, trying to enter these grades. They took a quiz today. Mm -hmm. Trying to stay uh, current. Current with their grades. How did they do on their quiz? 75 class average. Mm, it's not bad. Not bad for class average. Hey. Mm You know what's crazy, honey? What? It's like Blue just always knows when it's like time. All right, you ready? Sit. All right, now. Just now. Sit down. Are you ready to sit down? He's still sitting down? Yeah. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Y'all, even if you have a garage, safety tip one on one. Always lock the door. Four, four, four. Please leave your message for. Hey, mom, we're on the way. All right, y'all. We are here at my mom's house. That's why Blue is so excited and he's crying. The reason why I'm dropping him off is because this vet is on my mom's side and they didn't have any actual appointments, so it's just a drop off appointment. So hopefully he's not waiting too long, but I didn't want to wait too long because it, I didn't know if the if it is a hematoma, if it was going to grow and expand through his whole ear. Because I've seen some, y'all, Dr. Google always gives you the worst. So <laughs> when I saw some images on Google, I was like, I'm making an appointment ASAP. And just in case we're still didn't tell y'all, I'm trying out a new hairstyle. <laughs> I'm trying out a new hairstyle and this is like the before process or the before. Look, I'm peeing on my mom, but. You want to take the little baby? I don't know. You'll be home tomorrow. No, I won't. I gotta go to work. You going to work tomorrow? I gotta go to work every day. So Jamila has had a proposal to my mom that since she's keeping blue and that will leave her with three dogs in the house, maybe we should take Pluto, which is technically my brother's dog, home with us tonight. What do you all think? Uh, Jamila, one second. <laughs> what? 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 She wanted to go out there. What? What? Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Lord, <laughs> why did you roll over like that? Really, Marcel? Get oh. up, fool! Get up! Ah, Lord. Don't leave your camera on the ground. I'm not. Lying. He said, "No, we don't." Don't be. Don't be right at your feet, smiling at oh. him. <laughs> hey, Pluto. Yeah. No, you gonna hold him. I don't know. Uh huh. Look, look. Hold it. You want some food this time? It's like. We need to get out so bad. Look. Who's the first time you've seen humans? Clearly. That's your name. What? 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 Huh? No. Huh? Go ahead. Hi, Blue. How are you? What? What? Look, he's a little blue dog in the sand. Hi, baby. Hi, Blue. Eh, eh, eh. What are you doing? Eh, eh. At the doctor's office. You going to the doctor's office? Yeah, I'm the bad guy. We're back home. It's time to cook Dan Dan. 
And Marcel has the potatoes. I asked him to get them out the oven. I'm mean, not out the oven. I posted a new technique to cook sweet potatoes, y'all. This is a um, pimple patch. But yeah, I, I posted a new technique where I cook sweet potatoes in my Instant Pot. I'm eating a muffin. Second one, actually. Because I'm like really hungry after a week. I wonder if you defrost. Do we defrost these before we cook them or not? I don't know. What you think? I probably would. On the menu tonight, we have ribeye steak, but we are eating the thin sliced ribeye steak. And we're having sweet potatoes, some green vegetable, maybe some green beans, maybe some broccoli, and maybe some um, like Ross, Ross, rice au gratin. But yeah, that's what we're eating tonight. So I'm seasoning up the steaks, and the food is gonna be so good. Back to the seasoning, y'all. I was trying to show y'all the seasoning. I don't know if it recorded or not, but anyways, what you need, well, what I use, garlic salt, great value, uh, great value chili powder, Old Bay seasoning, Montreal steak seasoning, and Tony's Creole seasoning. Now, I was gonna put some black peppercorn seasoning on there, but I think I'm gonna skip this one, but, must have this one right here this montreal steak seasoning by mccormick is a must have you don't have any of this other stuff now you want to put a little bit of all of it on there but if you don't have nothing else you need this one must have must have all right and then so you're gonna flip once you season one side you flip and then you're gonna press 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 make sure that seasoning gets in there good Okay, now these are thin slices. This one right here don't look too thin. This one look real thick. But like this one is like, it's thin. You want a thin slice. Okay, you don't want the thick slice even though this one seems a bit thick. And you want to keep a paper towel on hand. A little bit of Tony's. A little bit of Onion Bay. I mean, Old Bay. <laughs> onion Bay. Dash, 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 boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. Okay? We're gonna, we're gonna say the best for last. The Montreal goes last. Chili powder, a little dash, a little sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Here and there. Just a little bit. Onion powder. No, garlic salt, sorry. <laughs> garlic salt. I love me some garlic, y'all. Love me some garlic. All right, now last but definitely not least is your Montreal seasoning. Open it up and you wanna, you wanna generously sprinkle this on, okay? Give it a generous helping of your Montreal steak seasoning. Look good, honey. All right, your oven is already set to 350, so now all we have to do is put these steaks inside. You want to place them in the middle of the oven. All right. You get some water. I'm sure you guys know real cooks don't take measurements. You just eyeball it. So we're just going to eyeball some water in here. I'm going to probably give it one more cup. That looks really good. Yeah, that looks like a good amount. Let me see if I can show y'all how much water I put in here. That amount. Then you're gonna put your white tray back on top. And I had these in the freezer frozen from the last time I cooked potatoes. We're just gonna unwrap them. Lord, baby. Okay. Press down on your Instant Pot, and then you are going to press steam, press steam, and then set it for 25 minutes. I'm gonna set it to 30. 30 minutes, and then just let it, it'll, it'll start on its own. So now it has started, 
and you want to turn it so that your steam is going to come out that is our potatoes and i'll hit you guys back when um the potatoes are about done and i'll show you the other sides that we're gonna have Okay, honey, what side do you want? Everything is ready. Everything is ready. This is what they look like. Shake it. Looks good. All right, y'all. So, brand new day. Just got home from work and got news of what's going on with Blue. So, the little swollen part on his ear was indeed a hematoma, and the little bump that's on the side of his face is not really sure what it is it could just be a random lump or it can be a cyst but of course if it was to increase in size then we would have to bring him back in um to get it treated but it's not anything of concern and she said honestly and this is something that i thought about it's just something that happens to dogs as they get older was thinking about just to hear it come from somebody else it kind of like shook me a little bit you know, it's like, I know Blue is getting older. Blue is going to be, Blue is six years old. And um, sometimes it's kind of tough to think about your dogs, you know, that they're getting older. Uh, but Blue is getting or becoming an older dog. Doesn't really sit too well with you when you consider that your dog is getting older. But nevertheless, because we're talking about Blue getting old, Here's some random footage of when he was younger. has already been picked up. I'll catch you up while I'm here at Pest Park. How did everything go? So everything uh, went well. Y'all, they were not trying to see Blue today. But they got him in there. But they got him in there. They get it out. Hey. See him on his back. You know that dog was gonna get up. <laughs> Blue, what's your grandmother do to you? She took you to the vet. I told her don't take you to the vet. Blue, come on, bar. Get in there, huh? I have it at the house. Blue, you don't like Pluto? Why you don't like Pluto, Blue? You to eat too little. All right, y'all. We are back at the house, but I had to show you my hair. I know y'all been wondering why I have why have I been looking crazy for the last couple of days? Well, I was trying to get this out of the work. Yeah, you say you like it, honey. I love it. Let me go into some light and a battery dying. Let me hurry up and show you guys. Uh, is it recording? Yeah. But yeah, I had I did some little curly thingies. Let's see, in the middle. You can see in the middle. In the middle. But yeah. This is the look I was going for. And it turned out so cute and wavy and curly. Nothing like a home cooked meal, Blue. Welcome back home, boy. Just came from the gym, just came from Target, and now we're back feeding Blue. 
We appreciate you all so much for watching. Glad that the baby dog is back. Even though my dog is no longer officially considered a baby as he is six years old. He will always be my baby dog. But we appreciate- He's my baby doggy. Yeah, he's both of our baby dogs. We appreciate you all for watching. Thank you so much. And we will see you all on Friday. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday. Hopefully you already caught our Monday video. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank y'all so much. We'll see you all next time. Why won't let him lick this? No, you know the rule. We don't let him lick that because we go rinse that out in the sink. He's licking it. So we're throwing it out. Change the rules. When she they can't wants, see me, honey. When she wants to change the rules. Hey, y'all. Anyways, yeah, we, um, yeah. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Bye.